Good morning. I want to show you how to find your air pressure for your weather forecast project. So the screen you see is a site called Tropical Tidbits, and this is not linked on the weather forecast project. This is a, a site that you'll have to Google, and you can see right up here in the URL, tropicaltidbits.com. And the first thing we're going to do once we get to this screen, we want to click up here in the corner up on the toolbar to forecast models. And it will select GFS. And then you'll also see a few things on the screen. So what I want you to look at first is the date. So the forecast time is over here. And each one of these pink boxes, some are white, some are pink, each one of those boxes changes the time for your forecast six hours. So we can see that plus six hours here is almost eight o'clock today, November 5th. If we want to go to the next day, so we want to check out the forecast for Saturday at 8 a.m. We simply count six, 12, 18, 24, 24 hours is a full day. We can click on 30. And now we see the date has changed to 8 a.m. November 6, which is tomorrow. There's also a lot happening on this map. This can look overwhelming, but we're only going to focus on one piece. What I want you to focus on first, once you have your, your start date for your project, let's say we start on Saturday, November 6. We're going to leave it there for right now. I want to go down here to the bottom and select regions. So if I want to choose Easton, Maryland as my city for my project, I'm going to click regions. And we have a whole bunch of maps to show up. And we're going to look at United States. We know that Maryland is in the northeast of the United States, and this is going to give us a more zoomed in view. So you've got everywhere on here, tropics, Europe, South America, Canada, Asia, Australia. Anywhere that you choose for your city, you should be able to find a map for it. And if not, I can help you in class to find one. All right, so back to Easton. We're going to click on the Northeast US. It's going to give us a more zoomed in version. So what we want to look for on the map, we see there's a high pressure system here marked by a blue H. And we see there's a number above that. That's our millibar reading. So by now we've talked about what to look for on a barometer, what would be considered a high pressure, what's a low pressure. We also see that Maryland is right here. Now, the important thing you have to remember is where is your city located in your state? Say that you choose somewhere in Maryland, but you forgot where the state is. There's a few isobars that are in Maryland right now, these black lines that we see are isobars. To find our pressure, whether it's a high or low, we're gonna find the closest isobar to our city. So it's important you know where the city is on your state. So is it in the north of the state, south, east, west? Where is it located so you can find the closest isobar? So I know that Easton is right around here on our map. So I'm gonna look right there. I'm gonna to try to find the closest isobar. Now remember our isobars are gonna be these black lines we see on the screen. We've also got red and blue lines. We don't need to worry about those. We just wanna focus on these black lines that we see. And we can tell some of them already have millibars on them. So what I'm gonna do is find my city. I'm gonna look for the closest isobar, which I see is right here. I'm going to trace it, follow it back until I find a number, 1,028. So based on what we've learned about a barometer, that would be a high pressure. So I would put high in my forecast for November 6th. So now that I know what the isobars look like, I know where my city is. What I'm going to do is come back up here, and I'm going to change my date. So remember, five days in your forecast, 
you need to find all the information for each day. So again, I see that I am at 8 a.m. November 6th, and I wanna skip ahead to Sunday. I wanna skip ahead 24 hours. And I'm gonna click on this white box. So you can see there's a line of white boxes, a line of pink boxes, and they do the work for you. The last white box you see, so here would be 54, is 24 hours in advance. So you click that one, double check our date, November 7th. And I'm gonna go back and look at Easton, Maryland. And I see these isobars here, it's changed. So it was 1,028, it's now 1,022. So try this on your own. If you need help, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to help you. Good luck. I look forward to seeing your forecasts.